RPG game or something. Oh my balls. Neptune escape rocket. Can we make the jump somehow? There we go, nice. Whew. Another battery. They're really like giving us batteries. Okay, what is this? Oh, okay. This is the cargo hold, I assume. Of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. There we go. Okay. Let's go down here. I think everything... Oh, look at that huge bay. Oh, there's another PDA. Oh, yes, a nutrient block. How much does it give us when we eat it? It's 75, and we're at 50. Yeah, so we just, we're going to let this go down a little bit more. A drink we can actually put in. There's another box. Oh, more food. Nice. And another drink. And all these crates and nothing to scan. Okay, let's get the PDA. Transcoff Profile. Integrating new PDA data. Transcoff Profile Terracorp, one of the largest suppliers of space uh, fearing technologies and consumer electronics, the Federation, the official supplier of the TSF, consistently ranked among the galaxy best. Okay, so this is just more about the corporation and about uh, the, the people in the business. So the similarities to national governments, the corporation lawyers have always con maintained that it has no legal obligation to its employees. But uh, voluntarily elects to take on the roles usually served by democratic elected government. This claims has not yet been tested. Okay, so this is all about the politics and Altera space program. Okay, I'm going to read that at some point uh, in my own time. You guys can do that as well before we go down there, though. Whew. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Nothing we can do here. Whew. Oh. What the hell? Where's it gone? There. It's an infected bleeder, though. <laughs> We already had scanned the bleeder. Okay, this is weird. Why does it make me rescan certain things? I don't know. It's really, really strange. It removed my pod and all that jazz. Okay, so can we open this? No. Oh, repair tool. Yes. And we have loads of batteries. Nice. Okay. Oh, there's another PDA. VR suit. Integrating new PDA data. VR suit. Loading program. Desert Island Drama Rerat. Size three players. Resources normal. Spawning players on beach. Player one has been washed away by an unusual high tide. Player two has traded a coconut with player three for ten credits. So player three has planted the coconut. Players are getting hungry. Um, in exchange, is sleeping inside their tent, night falls, passing ship. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Bay one. Oh, look at that. Seamoth pieces. So this was the little Seamoth Bay, obviously. And I'm not going to take these guys because um, my inventory is getting really full. And we're gonna have to eat soon and drink soon, so we're gonna make. Oh, what is that? Hang on. Oh! Ah, we already have that. So, 
how would we have gotten here if if we wouldn't have had a seamoth then we wouldn't have okay i think there was just the seamoth though i think seamoth fragment seamoth fragment there was nothing else here no okay what about these these lockers anything in them no Seamoth Bay, Drive Room, and... Drive Room? Where's the Captain's Room? Well, Drive Room, Drive? Means driving? I don't know. The Drive Core Shielding sustained internal damage during collision. Oh. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. Might as well use the last 3%. But well, it's gone now. Oh, there's another one. Excellent. So we can use this one now instead. Beautiful. And we can drop this one. There it is. Okay, so now we have to repair the Aurora core. This is where the radiation is coming from. And we have... We have our repair tool here. Oh, okay, so let's take this Cyclops engine. Nice. New blueprint acquired. What is this? What? Oh. Local radiation at maximum tolerable level. Drive core shielding breach. The Aurora's drive core is shielded by a thick metal shell, which breached in multiple locations shortly after the crash. Once breached, it will continue to leak radiation into the surrounding environment until the breaches are sealed. After that point, the radiation in the environment will dissipate over time. This procedure should only be attempted with the appropriate radiation protection. Well, we have a rat suit on. We have this, so let's repair. Containment breach repaired. Nice. Further breaches detected. I'm more interested in what I picked up actually. A Cyclops engine efficiency module. Okay. There we go. There's another one. I remember back uh, a while, a long, long time ago, one of the alpha versions, uh, they had a huge, gigantic hole actually in there, and you could dive through that hole to the outside of the side of the Aurora. So there was actually a second entrance. And that is gone now. So anybody who remembers that, um, fair play, you have been playing this for a long time because I have been playing this since it came out. Onto early access. Whoa, what the balls? What just happened? We got flung across the room because of this little blip thing. Okay, so let's just make sure we're actually healthy. Okay, so let's eat and let's drink. Wow, okay, so that was complete cut off guard. Well, while we're over here, might as well check if there's anything in there. No goodies in here, no? Anything to fix? All right, let's go into the water. So this is where the gigantic hole used to be. And they probably still have it there. So if you could get past this, you probably can still swim through the Aurora into that side entrance. Well, the side entrance is probably closed now. But um, it was pretty cool. Oh, we have a friend coming. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, there we go. The water levels should lower. Drive core breach sealed. No. Radiation levels decreasing. All right, we made it. This is going to be a very long episode, guys. Because we are going to go to the next part now. Which is this guy. Okay. Now. Laser cutter. Here we go.
Okay. Can we breathe? Yeah, we can get air. Oh, look at that. Bit of a glitching look. Oh, there's a PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Search and rescue target crew of the Mongolia vessel Degasi. So we were sent to build the whatever, yeah, these things. But we also were on a search and rescue mission for the Degasi, which is where we found all the traces of um, scattered around, you know, with the Marine and the and Paul and all that. Maneuver around category three ocean planet approximately. So they came to rescue the other guys and from the mining operation and then got stuck themselves. Typical, isn't it? You try to do something good for someone. That's how you get paid. Okay. Oh, there's another PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Sweet offer. Hogan's to Wilson, you're telling me you've you're telling me you've been on this rig more than a year and you never took a ride on the outside. Well, now You've only gone and gotten yourself a friend with the keys to a giant friggin' robot suit. We've plain got nothing to do till we get Starside to work on the gate. You want to taste the stars? You've only got to say my spare prawn suit got your name on it. You don't know what power feels like till you've crushed an asteroid with your bare hands. Heavily mechanical augmented hands. Want to play catch with a passing meteor? Come by my cabin number one. Code is 1869 so we have 1869 as another code for another locked door i like it okay so let's see what we have here is there anything in here no okay oh there's a battery nice i take that thank you oh and water thank you And I think that's it. There's nothing else hiding. Whew. Okay. Let's see where we're going. Okay, we're gonna... Do we need to... I think we need to, yeah. I think that's enough. Oh yeah, we need to repair tool. There we go. Okay, we might as well save just in case we run into a fire. Oh, wow. This is a gigantic um, cargo hold. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, wow. Okay, there's loads of fires here. Um, let me see if I can get on top. I don't want to really waste my fire extinguisher unless I really have to. Yeah, we are not going to get there. Damn it. I think we're going to have to. Is it? Oh, oh, oh. A faint black box signature originating on the other side of the hull breach in this room. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, a prawn suit fragment, yes! One of four. Oh, there's something stuck there. Oh, can we get it without the fire? Yes, storage module. Nice. Oh, yes. And the other one is over there, but I don't think we can get there. I think we're going to need to extinguish the fire over there. Yeah. Oh, unless we can scan this. Okay. We don't need to extinguish the fire then. And one more. Okay, let's save because I have a feeling I might be able to get hurt here. Um, it says the black box is across the room. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, what is that? 
Oh, another fire extinguisher. Nice. See if we can. Yes. Oh, this is nice. We got the prawn suit, baby. We got the prawn suit. Now it said something about a black box on the other side of the room. So I wonder if this is here or if this is under the water. Oh, careful here. Okay, there's nothing here. Oh. No. How do we get up there? There's a room up there. I want to get in there now. But I can't. I know I can't. Well, I, I don't think I can. Okay, so let's dive down here and see what we can do. Um, Wow, okay. Let's just go very low. Okay. There we go, there we go, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. We're gonna get through. And what do we have here? Oh, yes! Okay. We are now... I have no idea where we are now. Um, just let me see. Oh, there's the data terminal. Aurora Black Box. <sighs> okay, let's quickly read it. No, that's the prawn suit. Okay, we're not gonna re read this now. Black box data. Initiated slingshot maneuver around planet. High velocity energy pulls um, detected on planet's surface. Emergency distress signal sent to Altera listening to buoy via long com range. Life pods 1 to 25 launched successfully. So there's 25 pods actually here. Human life science detected over long range at T plus 8 hours. One personal unaccounted for non-essential system maintenance chief. Altera HQ rescue solution received at T blah blah blah. blah. Okay. So, let's just get some air, and let's go back down here. Okay. <sighs> ah, that's the repair tool. Um, crap. Um, laser cutter. There we go. We have still two codes that we haven't used. I wonder, I mean, we must be able to find the two, do to, to, the two doors. Oh, crap. Okay, now which, which, which code is that? Um, let's try 1869. 18, 6, 9. Okay, that's the wrong one. And this could be the captain's room then. 2, 6, 7, 9. 2, 6, 7, 9. Oh, wow. Okay, the cargo hold again. 14, 5, 4. Oh, no. It's none of the codes that we know. Crap. Can we swim? Yes, there's a PDA as well. Lab access 6483. 6483. Oh, air, air. Okay. 6483. Oh, door. Six four eight three. Is there anything in here? Oh, 
Oh, okay. Is that to the lap as well? 6483. 6483. Nice. So 6483. And that's the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, another another um, part. What can we learn from the hive mind of Strader 6? How are the individuals which make up a hive mind to uh, be categorized? Are they merely dumb components of the larger intellect organism? We define organisms by this. Okay, illustrate the Strader 6 colony quickly formed into two factions. One attempt to move the device to brute force, the second attempt to cover the device in sand. Okay, I'm not gonna read all this now because I'm running out of air. Let's do it. Data bank corruption was detected oh. on your PDA. Your technology blueprints have been updated. Nope. Okay, let's go. <sighs> there we go. Okay, let's go back through the pipe system. Let's see if there's anywhere else we can get in. Any other corridor? Oh, what is that? No. It's just a place to get air. Okay, um, let's go up here. There's a room up there. There we go. Okay, I think we made it. All right. I never been here before. Okay, there's more water. We don't really need water right now. Actually, we do. <sighs> and is there food? Oh, there's food as well. Nice. Oh, and more food. Oh, food for days. Nice. Overfed. Beautiful. Whew. Okay. There's another fire extinguisher in the back, I think. Oh, look at that. We can scan that. A vending machine. Nice. Oh, we can use it. New blueprint acquired. There's a PDA. Okay, what is that scan? A single wall shelf. New blueprint acquired. Here we go. PDA. Today's menu. Space Bear Volu. Okay, that's just the menu. <laughs> Just in case there's anything in there oh. that we... No, 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 no! Don't you dare set me on fire. <sighs> okay, so this one is empty, so drop it. I dropped my knife. No, I didn't. There it is. <sighs> okay. Can we get in here? No, that's locked from the other side. Okay. I don't think there's anything there. So let's see what we have here. All locked. Electric. Carbon one. Oh, there's something to scan.
Okay, this could be... Oh, cabin one. Okay, so this could be the actual cabin. 1454. It's 1869. Something like that. 1869. Yes. Oh, nice. Oh, more med... Carry all. Inventory full. Okay, so... um, We're finding a lot of liquid, so... Let's see... Okay, that's just a bag. Oh, nice shelves. New blueprint acquired. A blue cap. Okay. Um Nice. Let's take that PDA. Responsible uh, autonomous relationships. PDA data. All the good things in life are commodities. We trade love. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not going to read all of this now. You guys can do that. Oh, look at that. A, gor a gorge toy. Yeah, we're going to have to take that as well. I'm going to have to start throwing things out. Like, okay, empty batteries. Let's um, replace batteries. Yeah, let's replace the battery here. And now let's throw out the empty battery. Yeah. Drop. Excellent. Oh, yes. That is so cool. We're finding all these little toys and these little... Um, whatever they're called. Easter eggs. There's another poster. And single bed. Excellent. There's another bag. I actually don't think we need a bag, to be honest. And I also don't think we need the non-functional stuff here, so... Come on. Well, we pick up one bag. Is there anything else to scan? No. Okay, the only thing left now is the captain's quarters, which is probably going to be here. Oh, this is electrical balls. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to walk through here. I don't think so. That sucks, but that's where the captain is. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the empty battery you throw out. <sighs> and there's nowhere uh, a room where... Oh, cabin seven. There's more cabins. Oh, wow. Okay, more PDAs. Relationship contract legal recording. New PDA data. Okay, we're going to listen to that. <laughs> Um, another day. That is um, relationship contract legal recording. Oh my do dear lord, this is now personal logs of people and their relationships. Okay. There's another PDA. Altera Arms pamphlet. New PDA data. Okay, there you go. You can read that again as well. How full is our battery? 82%. Okay, that's fine. Okay, cabin six. Is there PDA in there as well? First aid kit. We still have a few of them, don't we? Yeah. 
And that's it, no PDA in here. Interesting, just more batteries. Maybe we'll just get hurt. Oh, we made it through, nice. And this is the captain's quarters now. 2679. 2679. Nice. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Look at that. Nice. And do we have room? Yes. Oh, look at that. We have a toy. There we go. PDA. Captain's log. <sighs> Loading program Craig McGill Simulator. Mac Map Boreal 9. Resource normal. You're exploring a quite alien backwater when the ship you arrived here Im implodes. It must be the Arcana Kidney Poachers. Quick, what will you do? Okay, so this is like a game he played. Okay, it's like a game. Huh? RPG game or something. Huh? Oh my balls. New PDA data. Neptune escape rocket. The blueprint set was devolved at Altera headquarters specifically to get you off 4546B and back to the nearest phase gate. It takes into account local gravity, astronomical data and available resources and is piloted by AI. It may be adapted to employ whatever power source is available, but it will require a lot of it. It consists of five independent constructible elements. Launch platform, floating platform provides a solid base from which to launch the rocket. A gantry provides structural support. Stage one primary thrusters for reaching atmosphere escape velocity. Stage two, full reserve. Stage three, cockpit. I think I'm gonna actually split this into two episodes, this, because this is insane. This is taking so long going through the Aurora. Uh, this is gonna be over two episodes, guys. Um, so there will be no intro or outro, probably. No outro at the last episode and no intro in the next episode. And it's just gonna go through. Um, adaptive power supply, onboard time warning. Onboard AI will not launch if local threats are detected. The use of alien materials to power the craft may increase its range in unpredictable ways. Holy crap, guys. That is insane. Okay, I think we have everything. I don't think there's anything I'm missing here. Nope. Closed door. Okay. I'm the captain now. I'm the cap. Oh, genie mug. Oh, would you just jump? Oh, oh my balls. I think that's it, guys. I think we're now able to get off the Aurora. We did every single room. We scanned every single thing. Um, the only things that we don't have fully yet are the nuclear reactor and alien containment. I don't know where to find these. Uh, nuclear reactor, obviously, we're going to find the next piece. And then we are still missing the Cyclops and a Cyclops bridge blueprint. So they weren't here. Um, which kind of sucks donkey balls. So I don't know what to do about that we didn't find the uh, Cyclops pieces. The only thing I can think of is that when we get to the stern, or whatever it was, that... Uh, okay, is there anything we can do here? No? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, a power cell. Nice. Ah, huh? uh, don't fall in the water. Huh? Don't fall in the water. Okay, I think that's it. We're gonna have to get out of here. And the other thing was that they had this vague location from the Degassi. You know the log where she said, oh, we're going 500 meters deeper, blah, blah, blah. There might be something you can find. I'm not sure, but um, we could we could definitely like um, take the Seamoth there and see. But I think we need the Cyclops now. Okay, come on. Excellent. Oh, okay. That's it. We're gonna have to get out. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave this episode here. That was intense. And again, I probably have split this over two episodes, guys, um, with an outro missing and an intro missing on the next one because it, I did not expect this to take this long. I hope you guys enjoyed the exploration, though, of the Aurora. It was pretty intense for me. And 
we should probably just jump down. It was pretty intense for me and I really hope that um, we haven't missed anything. I would hate to have to come back here <laughs> because I just don't like the idea of um, uh, having to face the Leviathan, to be honest. Um, I think we're gonna have to jump. Oh, my balls. I think we're gonna have to jump. Oh! Shit. All right, anyway, I'm gonna leave it here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, viel Spaß, and happy gaming. Nobody there, nobody there. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's go home. No Leviathan, no Leviathan. <laughs> don't look, don't look. Just go, 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 go. Just go, 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 go. Don't look back, don't look back. Just go, 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 go. Oh.